Hello everybody, this is the sewage lecture. So, um, I wanted to spend some time thinking about what happens like when you flush the toilet or when you, when water goes down a drain because it, this is the water unit and that, you know, that is your most uh, personal connection to water. It's literally us putting it into our body and then excreting it later on. So, um, I mean, there's plenty of many other types of water use that we don't necessarily see, so industrial um, or agricultural. But um, the you know the municipal water systems that we have are our most personal connection to the water. So um, generally, you know, people think of oh, sewage is really gross, and yes, um, there is you know literal poop in the water, but really it's mostly water um, there's toilet paper there's food scraps from your garbage disposal there's soaps and then there's pretty much anything you know that goes down the drain um, the dirt that you clean off or you know anything that that you can imagine going down the drain so that water has to go somewhere now in the US most of that water does not just go dump out in the river somewhere, right? It goes to a sewage treatment plant. Um, now, not all plants have the same goals, but um, there's basically three points to um, to a sewage treatment plant: removing solids, reducing the nutrients, and then disinfecting the water, right? Because they want basically the the water that's coming out of the sewage treatment plant to be okay to just dump in a river. So I thought the best way to do this would just be to go through how Whitewater's actual sewage treatment plant works. This is not Whitewater sewage treatment plant, but it is, um, you know, an example of them. Now, the first thing that, that happens then at the Whitewater sewage plant is there's a bar screen. Basically, it's um, a big grate that stops all the trash. Um, there can be plenty of things that make it their way down the drain into the drain pipes. Um, but that, uh, that bar screen then stops everything and, uh, the, just, just the big things, right? It's a two inch bar screen. So, uh, they scrape off all the stuff that collects on that and then they take it, put it in a dumpster and take it to a landfill, right? Um, the next thing that happens then is they spin the water kind of like in a centrifuge and what it does is all the like rocks and sand and grit gets um, like pushed outward and downward and gotten rid of um, so that they don't have to worry about um, the, uh, the like just tiny little rocks in the system. So what they do then is they slow the water down, right? Um, this the the white water system is actually really interesting in that it uses gravity basically to run the whole system once the water actually gets there it's all gravity run but when water gets added to the primary clarifiers then the water slows down and a bunch of essentially all the solids so these are this is the poop the toilet paper anything that's solid will sink down to the bottom of this thing and um, that actually gets rid of a lot of a lot of the stuff. It's just you know letting the water settle out for for a little bit of time. After that, then the water goes through what's called these rotating biological contactors, and you can think of these as like the the fish filters that you see um, spinning you know at on a in an aquarium. It, but they're giants, they're huge things, and what they do is they have bacteria just coating these things, and that sucks up a lot of the nutrients. Um, not all of the nutrients, but a decent amount of, of the nutrients and the organic matter will be taken out. Then what they do is they add this chemical called alum. Um, alum is um, it's in a powder that they add to it, and what that does is it binds to this thing called the, the, the nutrient phosphorus. It's just elemental phosphorus. Um, that it, that, that's what is the main thing that causes eutrophication. So they pull out the phosphorus 
and then it goes to this second round of clarifiers. Okay, again, these are those big, long tube, uh, or sorry, big, wide um, little pools that the water sits there. And what happens is that the alum based powder basically falls out of the system. And after all this happens, pretty much 90% of the solid waste has been removed from the water. And um, it's, it's, uh, pretty clear at this point. You know, I wouldn't drink it yet, but um, that's that's not where we're there yet. So there's this third um, treatment phase, kind of that they call the tertiary treatment, where there's this big, huge room where they pump a bunch of water into a. Um, it's a sand filter. It's this just a bunch of sand um, in this kind of like giant pool that they dump the water in and let gravity filter through that sand and then that's pretty much all of the solid waste gets removed by that final step and there's very very little nutrients actually in the water then they sh shine it they they send it through these tubes where UV light really strong UV light um, blasts all the bacteria that is in the water and just kills all the bacteria then they aerate it to get oxygen back in the water and then it just goes to Whitewater Creek and the water is as clean as you, you know what is in the, 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 the river itself. Um, it's not drinkable yet but um, because it still has some things in it, some things that you don't want to drink but um, you know it's as clean as the natural stream would be. So that's a little overview of what happens when you flush the toilet. Now, um, other systems have, you know, different ways to do basically each step. So the next town over might have a little uh, different way in to treat the sewage, but it's all pretty much the same. So when we think about how much sewage is actually treated, when we think about the United States, it's pretty much everything, right? It's great that um, North America does a really good job. 90% of our sewage um, is, is actually treated. Europe is a little not as good, 72%. And um, of the watersheds in the Mediterranean, it's only 30%. So there's plenty of basically the entirety of Northern Africa. When you flush a toilet, it pretty much just goes straight to a river. The Caribbean, very little, much, not very much of the Caribbean has any treated water and that's going directly into the ocean. And what we see is the Southeast Pacific, South Asia, South, South Pacific and most of Africa, there's a very little sewage treatment plant, essentially 0%. And that um, is a big problem, especially as populations are starting to get um, get bigger, right? Just basically all across the world. So um, some interesting, I think, cities and ways in which they uh, get rid of their sewage is uh, Tehran, Iran, the capital of Iran. Um, sewage is injected just straight into the groundwater. They have pumps that they just pump their poo water basically underground. And but then you might ask, well, where do they get their drinking water? Yes, it is groundwater. So that's a huge problem. Venezuela, and you know, shouldn't maybe necessarily um, single out Venezuela, but Venezuela has been having you know a lot of big problems lately and about 97% of their sewage is just discharged. There's a pipe. You can follow a pipe straight from people's houses to uh, to rivers. And even in places where we think, oh, there should be sewage treatment, like Milan, Italy didn't have a sewage treatment plant until 2002. Um, but since then it's gotten better but and they have some form of sewage treatment but you know there's lots of places in the world where there's essentially zero treatment. Uh, Whitewater does a good job. Uh, the plant runs at 1.67 million gallons per day right but and they can um, uh, we won't need to upgrade our plant for a long time because the the capacity is almost twice that. 
So I wanted to, to think about um, what happens after we do dump that into the river, right? That cleaned up water, what should we, what should be the same right thing to do with that water? And this is going to um, be part of your assignment is going to be looking at this, this idea. So think about the question, what if you were to have a closed loop system where you flush the toilet, it goes to a sing, um, sewage treatment plant, things get, the water gets cleaned up, then it goes to the drinking water plant, it gets cleaned up further until it's, you know, okay to drink, you know, all, all cleaned up and ready to drink with no bacteria, not, nothing bad for you in it, and coming back to your faucet. Now, a lot of people are like, that's yucky, right? But there's plenty of places that are doing that. Um, Singapore, that is uh, one of the countries that about 30% of their water supply is completely reclaimed sewage. And that's because it's this tiny little island that's basically one giant city. So they need to pump in water from other places. So, you know, where it's needed is where they... they they do this reclaimed sewage idea. Um, San Diego has a portion of their water supply as reclaimed sewage. Um, but, you know, places like the International Space Station have been doing this forever. This is the actual water unit where um, it takes basically urine and feces, and what it creates then is oxygen for the, um, for the, the whole space station. It creates water that they then drink, it creates compost, and it creates electricity for them. Um, and I think, you know, when people think of this technological system, they're like, oh, okay, well, that's maybe okay. Um, but I, I think what's um, not really known is most people in the United States are drinking reclaimed sewage one way or another. Um, so this is a picture of Kansas, okay? So here's Kansas City, here's Topeka, here's over in western Kansas. And um, what these, all of these little dots are, are sewage treatment plants that dump into the rivers, okay? And it, they, they clean up the water, but then that water goes back into the rivers. Well, where do these people get their water? they get their water from the rivers. So the city of Lawrence, Kansas, I lived there for eight years. Um, a good portion of their water came from the Kansas River. All of these, basically anywhere from all of these water sewage treatment plants would dump into the Kansas River and flow downstream towards Kansas City. So I was drinking reclaimed sewage. It just was put into the river, flowed downstream for a couple miles, and then sucked back up, cleaned up, and and then uh, made safe for me to drink. So, you know, unless you're living off your own like well system, um, a good portion of Wisconsin has more groundwater as our original source, but there's pretty much most of the U.S. gets their water from surface water uh, sources, and um, those are all going to have sewage that was put there at one time. So it, some people are definitely, you know, not a fan of this. And I want to explore that. Uh, you'll be writing an essay about that idea, having a closed loop system and how you're feeling about that. All right. That's all for now.